Okay, before there was Tribeca, Sundance, before there was South by Southwest, mm -hmm. there was always Con or is it Can? Well, either way, the world's filmmakers have been converging on France for the last 68 years, and they're at it again this month. One of them, Patrick Gray, has Kansas City connections and a film he hopes to sell there. Brad Austin spoke to Patrick about enclosure and the tough job of getting your movie to the marketplace. Well, my name is Patrick Ray. And my, I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm based out of Kansas City. And I've been making films now since 2002, mostly full time. Um, and I've been able to sustain a living, barely. <laughs> I think the difference between a studio film and an independent film is just um, the amount of workload that you have to take on as an independent filmmaker is a lot different. Uh, obviously, with a studio film, you, you're responsible for a lot more money um, if the film fails. Uh, in terms of indie filmmaking, there's just lots of roles that you, you have to multitask. You have to take on a lot more roles to make sure the film gets finished. I always tell people sound is such a huge part of your movie. It's 75% it's of your movie. You can see a mo the most beautiful image and if it has bad sound that goes with it, you will not be able to be engaged with what you're watching. However, if you see something that doesn't maybe maybe looks doesn't look the greatest, obviously the Paranormal Activity movies are a good example because they're not visually stunning in any way. They're supposed to look like home video footage. But what makes those movies work is the meticulousness of the sound design, and and it pulls you in, and like you feel it all around you in the theater, and it becomes this like amazing audience experience, um, not because it's visually amazing, but because it has this amazing sound, uh, sound to go with it and scare people. And obviously, the film festivals, people always go, what's the point? What's the point of sending your film to a film festival? Well, first of all, you make the movie for an audience, so you want an audience to see the film, and it's a good way to gauge how your movie's playing, because you can see the audience watching the film and, and say, okay, maybe I need to make some tweaks here or tweaks there, but it also gets your movie visible to buyers. Um, buyers do attend film festivals. Um, so yeah, no, I think it's, I think film festivals are very, very useful. And, and I make a lot of short films and I, I like to play them as many film festivals as possible because it keeps my name out there for the public. And if, as long as my name is out there, I have a better shot at getting another feature film made and keep, keep my living, you know, keep myself alive, I guess, as a filmmaker and keep my career going. So my latest feature film, Enclosure, is going to have a screening at Con at the film market. The film market happens simultaneously with the film festival. In the film market, people bring their finished films uh, through their sales agents and show them to buyers and hopefully the buyers attend the screenings. Uh, but yeah, the, there's the Cannes Film Festival happens simultaneously and that's a, a, that's a different thing than the Cannes film market, but it's all part of the same con experience. So it's, it's really exciting to have it be playing there and, and um, see if we were able to, to sell the film. It's a very exciting and nerve-wracking experience for me. So obviously I'll, uh, I'll be uh, uh, biting my nails to hear what, what happens. So, um, but I feel, I, feel ex I, you know, I, I feel honored that it's happening and I'm excited that uh, the film is, is uh, finally completed and, and able to um, start getting it out there and, and hopefully hopefully people react well to it. As far as the future of film in Kansas City, I feel like um, the great thing is there's a lot of, of crew members that are staying around here and uh, or even if they are working in Atlanta or Los Angeles, they come back to make films here. Um, so I, I see this area growing. There's a lot of, there's a good talent pool here. Um, you know, we've got lots of talented film students coming out of KU, UMKC, um, and a lot of them are getting their feet wet making films here. And a lot of people are coming back from Los Angeles to make their movies here because, it, frankly, it's just more cost effective. I feel like the Kansas City film community is just going to keep growing. I think the KC Film Fest is doing fantastic. Um, I feel like uh, the Kansas International Film Festival is, is also fantastic. So we've got some great f festivals around here uh, to show your work and uh, a lot of amazing talent and uh, really good commercial um, industry here for commercials and corporate videos. So I think that um, it, there's a good, there, there's, there's production houses here that, that, that uh, provide the same gear that you could get in Los Angeles. Um, so I feel like uh, it's only gonna get better.